All right, guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a super cool mentorism, uh, psychological type card trick that you can kind of do um, anywhere as long as you have a deck of cards. So I've seen David Blaine do this. I've actually um, revealed a video that he did using this card trick, but I kind of wanted to make a dedicated video to anybody who hasn't seen this before um, because you can really do this anywhere and it always, always works uh, for the most part. So anyways, guys, here's what it looks like and um, then I'll show you guys how to do it. All right, so the good part is it's you know pretty easy. You can take a deck of cards and you'll have a spectator go ahead and hold their hand out just like this. You say, look, um, you know, so you can use this as like an intro to, you know, different types of card tricks or as a card trick on its own. Basically, I'm just showing you the method itself so you can kind of adapt it and do what you want to do with it, right? So let's say you have the spectator, hold their hand out and you're going to have them tell you when to stop because you're going to be dealing down cards into their hand, right? So pretend their hand is upside down like this and they're holding the cards. So once the spectator's holding on to their cards, you say, okay, tell me when to stop and you're going to be dealing cards like this, okay? And eventually the spectator will have you stop dealing down the cards, right? So let's say they were to say stop here and for whatever reason, you know, like I said, you can use this as an enter, like an intro to a different card trick, whatever you can apply it, but essentially the whole point is that I'm showing you guys the spectator is going to say stop and they're going to say stop exactly where you want them to. In this case, I believe the ace of diamonds they would have stopped you at. Okay, and then like I said guys from here you can do whatever you want with it. You can put the ace back in the middle, bring it back to the top again, just kind of whatever you want. Okay, and um, I'll show you guys why this works and how to do it. Alright, so the good part is that it doesn't really require any sort of sleight of hand. This thing just kind of works okay so this is a, this is like a psychological human nature type card trick that is going to rely mainly on the like i said the inherent psychology of a human being so and you'll see what i mean in a second so um it's not and it's not necessarily foolproof like it's going to work every single time um but it's like 90 percent effective um and i'll show you what i mean in a second so like i said it's pretty much you know going to be like an intro to a card trick um, so you can use this as like, you know, kind of like the way into whatever effect you've developed or however you want to apply this. I'm just giving you the tools and just showing you how it works. It's kind of cool and you'll be amazed when you do it. So anyways, here's what you do. So let's say, for instance, you wanted a force card. Okay, whatever card you wanted. Let's just have the ace of diamonds. It's easy to remember. And what you'll do is take that off to the side and I'll show you guys how it works, right? So the basic premise, the fundamental of this trick is that when you have a spectator hold out their hand and you deal the cards into their palm at this tempo, okay, so you say, okay, just go ahead and tell me when to stop. And you're quiet and you deal the cards out at the, about this speed. More often than not, they're going to have you stop at the four or fifth card down because obviously it's going to be kind of you know awkward silence they don't want you to keep dealing the cards for you know however long you want to deal them for it's about 90 percent effective that they will be stopping you at the fourth or the fifth card and i'll leave a link to fernando who does a uh who kind of gave me the inspiration for this effect but essentially it's pretty cool um and you should definitely check this out on spectators yourself so essentially here's what you do right just because they don't want it to be too quiet for too long they'll probably stop you at the fourth or the fifth card so using that, you know, using that as a basis, what you can do is stick whatever card you want to force. And I've typically found it works best in the seventh position. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have the ace of diamonds in the seventh position down from the top. And at this point, you guys are ready to go. So you can actually experiment how, um, which position you want your forced card to be at. But in this case, I like the seventh. This is works best for me, but you guys can experiment. So essentially what you'll do is you can do some fake shuffles, okay? And then you'll have the spectator just, you know, tell you when to stop. All right, so you have them hold out their hand. You say, all right, go ahead, tell me when to stop. So you go at this tempo. Now, more than likely, they're not going to stop you before this before the fourth card is is pretty unlikely. And like I said before, if they do, well, you can kind of turn this into another trick if you want to. Um, you don't necessarily have to, but essentially, let's say they say stop here. Okay, I highly, highly doubt it's going to be before the fourth card. Okay, all you have to do at this point 
is a triple lift. So you'll come over, you'll take three cards off the top, and boom, their card's gonna be right there on top for the spectators as it is in the seventh position, okay? So that looks just fine, and then if the spectators wanna deal five cards, they say stop here. All you have to do is a double lift, so you go over, your card is the second from the top, flip it over, and then you can do whatever you want with it um, at that point, but that works as well as a double lift. And then let's say they deal down six cards, okay? Well, just keep track mentally of where that ace of diamonds is, and at this point, it's gonna be right on top of the deck. So that works out just perfect. If you're doing a prediction, card trick, or force, or whatever you're doing, like I said, you know you can apply this to whatever you want. Let's say they go even further, they deal down the cards there. Remember, this is still in the spectator's hand. So at this point, you flip over the top card, after they say stop, boom, their card's on top. And better yet, if they wanna keep going, just keep remembering where that card is, and at this point, you can pick up the cards from their hand and say, okay, you know, you stopped me wherever you wanted to stop me at, and all you have to do here is just a double lift, because now their card is actually just second from the top. So you can come over, just do a pinky pull down of one, two cards, and then you can flip over the top card, which is gonna be the ace of diamonds. And then at this point, again, let's say they have you stop another time, you can put a third card down, and then all you have to do now is a, uh, is a triple lift with the cards. So again, you'll just come over and get a uh, pinky count underneath that top three cards. And at this point, their card is gonna be in the third position from the top of the deck, which is gonna be the ace of diamonds. And then again, if it gets even further, let's say they stop you fourth down from the top, right? So at this point, the spectators have dealt out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. So at this point, even with the packet, um, you can still do a pinky pull down and get four cards or so from the top of the deck, and it won't look that insane. So let's say you have your pinky pull down, and what you'll end up doing is you can actually come over with the front of your fingers here, and you can then grab the cards in the back with this pinky pull down and show the spectator the cards from the front, okay, just the ace of diamonds and then you can put it back on top. If you're quick, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. You can do four cards. It will look a little bit suspicious if you don't have your angles right, but about nine to 10 cards is like the limit with this trick, but it kind of gives you a lot of leeway. Um, I really, I highly doubt anybody's gonna have you deal more than at most eight to nine cards, and that's if you're unlucky. Um, but yeah, so it's a pretty simple trick. Um, it's just gonna, like I say, work on human psychology. I think you'll be fascinated when you go do this to somebody and they actually legitimately stop you at maybe the fourth, fifth, or sixth card. So go try it out for yourself, guys. Apply it to what you want and leave down in the comments below uh, what you guys want to see next in a future video. So as always, thanks for watching.